tightly close my eyes, hoping that I won't hear any strange sounds again tonight. You would think that by now, I'd be used to them, but no. There's no way you could get used to the sounds of pure horror. Maybe tonight, I would get lucky. Maybe tonight they'll just leave me alone. That's what I've been wishing for every single night for months. But my luck always goes against me. As I turned onto my side, I heard a noise. A footstep, maybe? No. Please, no. I heard it again. It was definitely steps. They were getting louder. I realized that they were getting closer. They were coming towards me. I could hear them. They must be coming for me tonight. I started to panic and tried to wiggle my body away. I could start to hear voices. They were calling my name. They were talking to each other, whispering something that I just could not understand. The whispering was terrifying enough, but then I saw them. the shadows of two. My body was overcome with fear. I tried to wiggle it away again, but there was no way out. I had been trapped. They had trapped me in this damn room for a few months ago. The voices were louder. They weren't whispering anymore. They were trying to talk to me. I couldn't comprehend it. I could actually hear the voices of these demons. Loud and clear. What if they try to kill me tonight? How can I get out? How can I help myself? What can I do? I screamed. I screamed loud and started to sob. Oh God, please help me. I could feel one touch me now. It, it grabbed me. I'm so defenseless. I can't move my arms because of this jacket they forced on me. So I started kicking my legs. I threw a tantrum because I want someone to hear me. Anyone, I didn't care who. I thought it worked at first. One of the figures had disappeared. But then it came back with a weapon. It was going to stab me. It was going to stab me with... with... Is a needle?